this video tutorial, we will learn how to create an animation. We will move objects on screen. Animation will be developed using Raptor tool. Now key steps which we are going to perform. We will create a window first. Then we will fill window with some color. We will draw some geometric shape on that window. And then we will move objects using a loop concept. So let's create animation using the Raptor software. First of all, let's create a window. So call the function open graph window and specify the height and width. So let's create 500 500 window. So you can see this is a blank window with white background. Now let's fill color into this window. So for that, drag this call and call clear window function and specify the color which you want to fill. So you can see the window is now filled with color. Now let's add one geometric shape on this window. So let's call a draw circle function and specify the center point of circle 150 150 specify the radius and specify the color which we want to fill and as we want to fill color so write true let's see so this is the circle object which is placed on this window now as we want to generate an animation so usually animation is collection of various images into which objects are placed on various different locations so if i want to move this uh, yellow circle from this 150 150 location to somewhere here then we have to change the xy position of that circle so for that let's call one more circle just to show you how to do this and this time we will draw a circle with 250 250 as center point 50 radius yellow and true so what will happen now a second circle will be drawn somewhere here so third circle somewhere here fourth circle somewhere here so likewise we have to draw many circles if you want to show animation kind of effect and every time when we draw a new circle previous circle we have to clear so for that what you can do is before drawing this new circle you can once again call a method called clear window and specify your color again so now you can see your let me change this execution speed and you can see the previous circle is now clear and this is how one by one we will draw various circles at different locations and eventually that will generate an animation kind of effect so now let's use a looping concept to move our circle i am removing this additional circle which is added here and this additional clear window now what we are going to do is we will call this draw circle function into this loop so just drag this draw circle function from outside this loop to this inside this loop now every time we want to change this value 150 150 we want to change so instead of 150 150 x and y coordinate now we will be using some variables so for that let's take two symbols here and outside this loop just initialize your x variable with 150 so this is the first x value and one more symbol assignment symbol set y to 150 and instead of this 150 150 static value let's use x and y value so this is my x and this is y value so now what will happen the first circle will be drawn at 150 150 with 50 radius so that is the first change which we are doing now 
inside this loop every time we want to change value of x and y so what we will do is after drawing our first circle we will change this value x and y values so drag this symbol again set x to x plus 5 so previous value of x into that we are adding 5 so new value of f x will become uh, 155 similarly change the value of y to y plus 5 after changing x and y value let's add some delay so call delay and specify 0.1 second of delay and then clear your window so clear window and specify color again and set your exit condition x greater than 500 let's run this and you can see your circle is moving very smoothly from 150 150 towards the upper right corner so this is how developing animation under raptor is very simple you can make very interesting animation like this also by adding various backgrounds and you can take two more circles to indicate eyes and arc to indicate your smile